Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at my podcast guest automation flow. So let's get started. I am going to tell you about the four tools that I use to automate my entire podcast guest booking process. They are Calendly, Zoom, Evernote, Airtable, and the linchpin that holds them all together, Zapier. So there's a couple of things you see on the screen here, like a link to my recording notes, information about when the show is going to come out. And then when they can book, I record on Thursdays. So unless we need to make some special arrangement, if like all of Thursday doesn't work for the guest, uh, then I'll send them a couple of alternate dates. But for the most part, Thursdays is when I record and that's when they can book. So if we take a closer look at Calendly from the back end, you'll see there's a few things going on here. Uh, first, the location is Zoom. Calendly automatically integrates with Zoom now. I used to have a Zapier step in the Zap I'm going to show you in a little bit to automatically create a Zoom meeting, but Calendly does that automatically now. Uh, the description, which you saw on the screen, and then when people can book. So you could see kind of the recurring times and the event duration and all of this is managed to make sure that I don't have to manage my calendar and Calendly of course connects to a specific calendar so it will automatically hide when you already have meetings and things like that so as long as my calendar is up to date people will only book uh, at available times. Next I send the invitee a few questions what's their first and last name and their email address some important things that I want to make sure I get right on the day of recording. What are we talking about is a question that I always mention in the email beforehand. So I just I just want to make sure that we are on the same page. I'm not asking them to come up with a topic. That's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Like, hey, come on my podcast. Also figure out what we're going to talk about. Um, that's my job as the podcaster. Uh, what website do you want me to link to? And then a few social profiles. This is just going to be easier for me instead of having to gather and find and make sure that I'm linking to the right person. All of that is there. So there's a few disclaimer things. The interview will be edited. Not all interviews are published. And uh, I don't think I, I've not published an interview yet. But uh, I also want to make sure that they use a decent microphone and that they record from a quiet place uh, because I want the sound quality to be as good as possible. I should probably update this and actually I'm going to uh, the interview will be edited I will wear headphones this is something that's come up quite a bit lately this is uh, one step in several to make sure that all of the recording is done right so I just updated that uh, here's where the automation comes in here so I'll save and close this uh, and then my guest will get several uh, several emails and things like that. They'll get a calendar invite. I will get a calendar invite. So it's on both of our calendars. They'll get email reminders before the event, any follow-up after. And uh, the, so the email reminder beforehand sends them some information, including that show notes link, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the email follow-up thanks them and reminds them to email me their audio or send me a link to their audio. I always have my guest record their side of the audio in case something goes wrong. Um, and so that is the automation side of Calendly. Here's the link that they get. Uh, I I'll remind them that it's in the calendar invite and the reminder email, but just some information on good recording, how to record their own audio. So I include a short tutorial step by step here for Mac and PC. I remind them to save the file. I ask them to use headphones. Again, this is really important because if the audio is coming out of your speakers, your mic is picking it up and there's going to be an echo or feedback or uh, the other person's voice is going to be in your audio and it makes it harder to edit. So using headphones just makes a lot of things easier. And then a few tips, you know, pause Dropbox and things like that. Um, to make sure we have the best internet connection possible, 
some information about uh, just the show and things like that. So that is what they will get in their email and in the calendar invite. All thanks to Calendly does that automatically for me. Once the Calendly link is scheduled, it kicks off what I call in Zapier a guest flow. So invitee is created in Calendly. I, and so I'm going to walk you through all of this. I connect to Calendly. As soon as somebody signs up, this flow kicks off. I only want this done if uh, they are signing up with the How I Built It calendar. So I have several Calendly links. I don't want this to happen for all of my Calendly links. This is specifically for podcast guests. So first, I need to filter it out. This is in the paid plan. I think it's the lowest paid plan. So if you have the free Zapier account, you won't be able to do this. But if you pay the minimum, which I think is 25 bucks a month, um, you have access to this feature. The next thing I do is create an Evernote note. This is where I'm going to keep all of my show notes. So I like Evernote uh, basically only for this and my newsletter. And it's because it's got really good integrations. I tried to move to Notion. Notion does not have uh, a, an API. So I can't include it in any of my automations. So it was immediately ruled out. Uh, but Evernote integrates with a lot of things, including Zapier, really nicely. So when uh, a guest signs up, I create an Evernote note in my show notes notebook uh, that has their information and then a format for the interview. So these are the things I generally like to talk about. I take a lot of notes during the interview for me so that I know what I want to write about later. And for my transcriber so that she doesn't have to go Googling uh, terms and things like that, that she might not know. So these are the questions that I want to make sure I cover during the interview. They're all in the note here. So that is Evernote. And then the last step is to create a record in Airtable. So I basically just send all of the data to Airtable. Airtable is where I figure out my schedule, who is sponsoring each episode and things like that. So that is the Zapier Zap. I need to make sure to turn this back on. But when somebody signs up for Calendly, it kicks off a series of events where an Evernote note is created and then a record is created in Airtable. And uh, just to take a look at what happens in Airtable, basically the guest name is passed, uh, passed through and then the topic is passed through. So I will usually modify the topic anyway to like fit the title that I want to give. But um, this this spreadsheet or this Airtable is generated automatically. And then I also have on top of a grid view, a Kanban view, because I do have the status uh, cell or the status column so that I can easily just kind of see where each episode is in the pipeline. I used to use Trello for this and actually the Zap had a step for Trello, but I stopped using Trello and I'm I'm using Airtable for basically everything now. So that's it for this video. Basically, I showed you kind of the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, once I am ready to book a guest, I send them a Calendly link and everything else happens automatically. I used to do this manually and it used to take me a ton of time and I never knew what part of the process I was in, but with Calendly and Zapier, uh, Airtable and Evernote, everything is on autopilot and on the day of the recording, I just need to review my notes in Evernote to make sure I know what we're talking about, to make sure I have some information about the guest, everything else is taken care of. So. I will link to all of these resources in the description for this video. But before we go, I do want to tell you about one more thing, and that is my new course. It's coming out soon as I record this. As you're watching it, it may already be out, but it's called Podcast Liftoff. So I will teach you everything you need to know about launching your podcast from choosing your topic to launching your show and maybe even making some money. So if you head over to podcastliftoff.com, 
you can see everything that we cover in the course. You can sign up to get notified when enrollment opens, or you can join now. If you do sign up to get notified when enrollment opens, you'll also get a free podcast workbook. So again, that link is podcastliftoff.com. I will link it in the description for this video down below. And if you are interested in starting your own podcast, but you're not sure where to start, this course is for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to this channel for more great content. And until next time, get out there and build something.